why monkeys swing in the trees. <laughs> this story is all about me. <laughs> you see, we didn't always swing in the trees, you know. <laughs> we used to stay in the ground and play. <laughs> <laughs> and we love to wind crocodile up. <laughs> Careful, monkeys. If you keep pulling that end, you will find that the other end has teeth. Ow, monkeys. <laughs> Me, one of the scariest animals in Tinga Tinga. Ooh. What's up, crop, my friend? You look snappier than normal. I'm fed up to the teeth with those mischievous monkeys. You need a monkey plant, Croc. Something to show those monkeys who's the boss around here. Something you can really get your teeth into. <laughs> like what? Um, I'll get back to you on that, Croc. <laughs> hey, don't snap at me. I'm on your side, remember? If you come up with a good plan soon, then maybe I will reward you with an egg or two for your supper. Okay, it's a deal, Croc. But if you call me Croc one more time, I may just have you for my supper. Right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep your teeth in. Uh-huh. Big grey clouds. That means the rain is here. And big rain. Better tell all the animals <laughs> and quit. There's rain and big rains are coming. Mm-hmm. Rains are coming. Big rains are coming. Really big big. The clouds are nearly upon us, which means every animal must find shelter. I knew Lion was going to say that. He always says that. You always say that. Say what? I knew Lion was going to say that. <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> Will you stop chattering and keep away from that mango tree? Remember the last time the rains came? Mm -hmm. The river rose and you got stuck up the mango tree, didn't you? Mm. Well, don't let it happen again. We knew he, he was, was going, going to say that. that. <laughs> Everybody's gone. They've all gone to hide from the rains. <laughs> and you know what that means. I know what that means. I know what that means too. <laughs> More mangoes for us. <laughs> nice one. Now I have a really good plan. That means eggs for supper. <laughs> hey, Croc. Croc, Lion says the big rain is coming. Remember the last time the monkeys got stuck? I do. I do. <laughs> Remember how the monkeys can't swim? And this time, there's nobody to save them. Except us. Us? Why would we save them? Well, you could tell them that you would take them across the river and save them, but that would be a very good moment to catch them. <laughs> now that is a very good plan. So what are we waiting for? That is what we are waiting for, Croc. The rains. <laughs> and I'd lay off the smiling croc if I were you. It makes you look nasty. I am nasty. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep your teeth in. Aha, rabbit! I love the rain. It makes me cool. I love the rain, but I'm cool enough already. <laughs> we love the rain. It makes things grow. I love the rain, but I'm grown. <laughs> there they are, stranded, just like I said. <laughs> Look at that juicy big mango. Let's save the best one for last. 
No, no, no. We should eat the best one first and the worst one last. I thought it was the first one worst and the last one best. <laughs> now that's just silly. <laughs> uh -oh. Now we've been really silly. <laughs> Help! Help! Somebody Help. save Help. us! We're stuck in a tree. Did I hear a monkey calling for help? I do believe you did. <laughs> help and not just one monkey calling for help, but three! Jumbo monkeys, stranded up the tree again. Mm. Yes. What a terrible shame. I am sure my friend Crocodile will take you back to dry land. Aha. Uh -huh. But only one at a time. What? You'd help us, Crocodile? After all the times we've pulled your tail. Oh. Oh, Croc knows that was just a bit of fun, don't you, Croc? Ah. So, who's first? Me, me, me. Wait for the last one, the big cheeky one. Save the best till last. Mm -hmm. See you on the other side. Save a mango for me. Will do. <laughs> well, little monkey, it's a beautiful wet day here at the waterhole, and believe it or not, this is the waterhole. Toyland. <laughs> Ooh, crocodile. Save a mango for me. Okay. <laughs> and over there, that's where Lion found his roar. Oh, yes. Good times, good times. <laughs> Jumbo monkey. <laughs> haraka, haraka. Hurry, hurry. The water is up to my feet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, not so fast, monkey. Crocodile is a kind beast. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yes, lizard. So you'd understand why it hurts, Crocodile, when you treat him with disrespect. Disrespect? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Now you just apologise to Crocodile right now. Dear, dear Crocodile, I'm very, very sorry. And I will try never to do it again. Ever, never, ever. Apologies are all very well and good, but this time Crocodile wants something more. Of course, anything. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> Crocodile. Mm, your heart. My heart? Mm. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? If it's my heart that you want, you must both promise to turn your heads and look the other way. <laughs> I don't want you to see me take my heart out, do I? Oh, no, no. That would be nasty. <laughs> uh, ready? Ah. Uh -uh. Not so fast, Crocodile. First, you must take me on your back to the other side. Then, I will give you my heart. Oh, quickly. I haven't got long. Oh. Come here, Monkey. Oh. Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. There. Oh. Yes, my heart. Oh. Now, thank you, dear friends. Uh. Oh. Remember me to everyone. Tell them. This isn't a heart. It's a mango. Oh, sorry, Crocodile. I didn't have the heart to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Better eat it all up and make it snappy. <laughs> <laughs> that mango broke my heart. <laughs> And you are all just as bad. Always taking the side of the monkeys all the time. <laughs> oh, come on, Croc. Don't be so heartless. <laughs> we could have a heart to heart about it. <laughs> and from that day on, we never really trusted Crocodile again. <laughs> and that's why monkeys swing in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll get that monkey, and the rest of you. Oh, come on. You've got to see the funny side, Croc. And don't call me Croc. Okay, okay. keep your teeth in. And Lizard <laughs> running about all over the place. Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> 
while jackal howls at the moon. <laughs> you see, jackal always wanted what he did not have. Look at hen's nest. Jumbo hen, jumbo monkeys. <laughs> My, my, hen, you sure know how to make a cozy nest. Oh, I want cozy. Cozy is nice. This is my nest, Jackal. I'd like to live in a nest. But you're an elephant. And? And? And it would take hen ages to build a nest for you, my friend. <laughs> oh, elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Jackal, get out! Get out of my nest! <laughs> but I want it. Well, if I can't have a nest, then you can't either. <gasps> now what am I going to do? Don't worry, Hen. You know Jackal. He'll soon want something else. <laughs> I just can't seem to get into my burrow. Move, Artvark. I want this burrow. But that's my burrow. <laughs> not anymore, it's not. I want it. So, trot on. <laughs> you see what I mean? Never, please may I have this? Or please may I have that? Just want, 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 want. Mama. One for you. <laughs> and one for you. <laughs> oh, Chops. My favorite. Mm, I want one of those. <laughs> Jackal took my job. Jackal, that's the cub supper. Give that back. Jackal. Jackal. <laughs> Plus dessert. Oh. <laughs> Jackal. Don't worry, Mama Cheetah. Jackal will soon want something better. Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. Jackal's a menace. Mm -hmm. Very me stole yes, my nest. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Two nests. I had to build two nests in one day. Oh. And then he squashed into my burrow and I had nowhere to sleep. Your Majesty, Jackal is also taking food. Taking food? He took a chop right out of the mouth of Mama Cheetah's cubs. Is this true? Yes, he did. <laughs> Your Majesty, Jackal is never satisfied with what he has. This is not nature's way. Something must be done. May I make a suggestion? Of course, Tortoise. Bees, has Jack ever tasted your honey? <laughs> now think about it, it's important. No, no. Ah. <laughs> and your point? Is that Jekyll has never tasted sweet, delicious honey. And? Once he does, he'll want more and more of it, and he'll leave the rest of us alone. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Bees? Make some honey into a shape of the moon. Honey. And then tonight, when the sun goes down, every beast is to line up. Wait, wait, here comes Jackal. <laughs> moon, honey. What are you looking at? Shh. What are you all waiting for? Why have you all got your mouths open? We're waiting for the full moon to rise. Why is that? Because, Jekyll, the uh, moon is made of pure honey. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Honey? And just as it rises, mm? a single drop of moon honey falls down. Mm -hmm. And moon honey is the most delicious thing you will ever taste in your whole life. Moon honey? Moon honey. Yum, yum. I want some of that. Moon honey. <laughs> Moon honey. But you must close your eyes, Jacko. <laughs> Elephant. I want some. Eyes closed, Jackal. Eyes closed. I want some. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. mm. Mm. That is the most delicious thing I have ever tasted in all my Jackal days. Oh, 
and I have tasted a lot of things. We know. But this, this moon honey is the tastiest thing ever. Mm, 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 mm. I must have some more. Ah, ah, ah. Close your eyes, Jacko. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go. <laughs> Why isn't it coming? Why is there no more moon honey? <laughs> You'll have to wait until tomorrow, Jackal. The moon will rise again, and then you'll get your drop of moon honey. Just wait. Just wait. Where is the moon honey? I must have more of that moon honey. Looks like someone else wants it too. <gasps> Some animal is nibbling away at my moon honey. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Someone else is definitely helping themselves to all that honey. I think some lucky animal knows how to get up there. And they're eating it all up. But I want some. That's my moon honey. Tomorrow, there'll be even less. Sad, but true. Um, but I want it. I want it. Huh? That's my moon honey. And somebody's eating it. I've got to get up there. I want it. I want it. I want some of that moon honey. I, I must have it. I need it. I, I want it. Moon honey. I want it. <laughs> oh, please cheer up, please. I must get some of that moon honey, please. <laughs> oh, all right then. I, I want it. I want it. I want, want that moon honey. Moon honey. Moon. Moon. <laughs> oh, now I'm sorry to break this to you, Jackal, but I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I want that moon honey. I want that honey. I want it. Uh, I want it. I want it. Uh, aha. Moon honey. A moon, honey! Oh, moon! Uh-oh. <laughs> I want it! I want moon, honey! Why don't you just give up, Jackal? Incredible. Honey. I want moon, honey! I want it! I want it! I want moon, honey! Do you think we should tell him? So he can steal my cub's food again and sit in my nest? And push me out of my own home? I want that moon honey! Hmm. Oh. Ah, leave him. I want never gets. Well said. I want that moon honey! I want it! Oh, oh. Moon honey! Oh. So nobody ever told Jackal that the moon wasn't made of honey at all. They were so pleased that Jackal was leaving them alone that nobody ever told him that honey really comes from bees. <laughs> and that's why Jackal howls at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jackal. Moon honey. Who wants some honey? Who wants some honey? Who wants some honey? What is it you say, Lion? I want never gets. What do you say? Please, may we try some honey? Please, oh. maybe. <laughs> there, my cubs, your first taste of honey. Mm. It's yummy. Mm. Please, oh. may we have some more? <laughs> and Mama Cheetah and her cubs? Well, that's a whole other story. Yummy, yummy, oh. yummy. <laughs> <laughs> 
why hummingbird hums. Bird. And she sang, just like all the other birds. Well, not exactly like all the other birds. Oh, Songbird. Yes, monkey. Oh. We're sleepy enough now. Thank you. Very good. More animals to sing to sleep. Hmm. A bird's oh. job is never done. <gasps> Crickets? A one, two, three, bow. Rest your head and close your eyes. Mm. <laughs> ah. Sleep beneath the tingle Oh, sky. that's so nice. Makes me feel all Rest sleepy. Your your <laughs> it is nature's way. A lullaby finishes the day so we can all have a peaceful sleep. <laughs> Rest your head and close your eyes. Rest your head and close your eyes. <laughs> Go away, make it go away. Believe me, there is no escape. Now, listen, Songbird. Yes, Tortoise. The thing is, we can't get to sleep when you... Shh, 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 Tortoise. Oh, please, sing on, sing on. Thank you. Rest your head and close your eyes. Sleep oh, I give up. Oh, oh, rest your head and close your eyes. Oh, oh my ears. Night, night. Everyone sleep tight. Whee! Oh, now let's try and get some sleep. <sighs> Crickets. One, two, three, and a four. Rest your head and close your eyes. One yama. Animals. It is midday. Crickets. A one, two, three, four. Midday, midday, too hard to think. Stop your work, leave the heat, come and have a drink. Midday, midday, too hard to think. Stop your work, leave the heat, come and have a drink. Midday, midday, too hard to think. And that's when we knew that something had to be done. Well, somebody's got to tell her. Her voice is awful. She's gallus down. Oh, I'm afraid, Igul, that Songbird's singing has become a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. She, oh. uh, well, she... Sounds like a squashed parrot. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. We just don't know what to do. You see, Songbird just loves her singing. But the entire animal kingdom doesn't. Peacock. Your Majesty. May I make a suggestion? Please do, Tortoise. Perhaps we could all help Songbird improve her singing. Oh, I could teach Songbird to gargle. Very good, Hippo. Oh, honey is good for the voice, too. Makes it sweet. Maybe the bees can help. I'll ask them. We crickets will improve Songbird's rhythm and Songbird's beat. Excellent, everyone. Soon we will have Songbird singing like a... like a... Uh, songbird. <laughs> Eagle, you must oversee the progress of your little bird. It's my duty. Twendele, twendele, carry on, carry on. Yes, yes. Now, Songbird, Hippo here has offered to teach you to gargle. It's very good for the voice. My voice is how I spread joy. <laughs> Have a go. Mm, try this. <laughs> <laughs> now you're all warmed up. Please sing. <laughs> midday, midday, too hard to think. Stop your work, leave the heat, come and Yes, I do believe my voice is even better. Thank you, Hippo. Hmm. Midday, midday, too hot. Just one drop of honey can make your voice sound sweet, Songbird. Even sweeter than it is already. Aww. You're My 
voice does sound sweeter. Thank you, bees. <laughs> and one me and me two. Me and me two. No, 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 no. And one and two and. Oh my. I wonder what it will be. Even with the crickets. But it can't all be bad news. I'm afraid it is. Ah, <sighs> there we are. Songbird will never be able to sing. Never be able to sing. It's me. We can't get to sleep when she sings. And I don't want to wake up if she's singing. Oh, no. Somebody has got to tell Songbird no more singing. She can't no more sing. Singing. No more singing. Oh, uh, Songbird, um, we were just um. Oh, it, it's it's all right, everyone. I I heard what you said. I I won't sing anymore. And um, I'm so very sorry that my singing upset you all. And I, I, oh dear, oh dear, 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 dear. We've taken away the one thing that Songbird loves more than anything in the world, her song. If only she could sing without... Opening her beak. Aha! I think I have an idea that will please everyone, including Songbird. Elephant, huh? let's go and find her. All right, Taurus. Let's go. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Oh. There you are, Songbird. Songbird, we've come to tell you something. I know. No more singing. Now, weird Songbird, you didn't let us finish. What we were trying to see was no more singing with your mouth open. Really? Really? Yes, elephant. You remember what we were saying earlier? Huh? No, no more, more singing, singing with, with your, your mouth, mouth open. open. <laughs> yes, that was it. Big head C. Tiny brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, songbird? We all think your singing would sound even more wonderful if only you'd sing with your beak shut. With my beak shut? You know, sort of like a hum. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'd never thought of that before. But, but I'm always keen to try something new for my music. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you'll try it tonight at the lullaby? Hmm? Humming? Try humming us all to sleep. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> No singing, just humming. <laughs> just humming. Here she is. Lock your ears, everyone. Yeah. Over to you, songbird. Remember, don't open your beak. <laughs> Rest your head and close your eyes. Rest your head. It's beautiful. Mm, it's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Mm. Now that's a lullaby. Excellent, Songbird. Excellent. Your Majesty, would you mind calling me Hummingbird from now on? <laughs> Hummingbird. Suits you perfectly. And that is why Hummingbird hums. From that day on, she closed her beak and she hummed. Always humming Tinga Tinga into a deep, sweet sleep. <sighs> my hum is how I spread my joy. Now that is humming. And the crickets chirping? Well, that's a whole other story. Why Bush Baby has big eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
But you see, there was a time when Bush Baby didn't have big eyes. <laughs> it's Bush Baby. Now, which way was it? Was it this way or was it that way? Jumbo, Jumbo Bush Baby. Baby. Jumbo Monkeys. Are you lost? Me? Lost? <laughs> no. Why? It's just you are looking everywhere and saying, now which way is it? So we thought maybe you are lost. Me? Lost? <laughs> I'm not lost. Oh, no. <laughs> but Bush Baby's eyes were so small that she was always getting lost, even though she'd never admit it. <gasps> That's elephant. It must be important. Yes, we must go immediately. Wrong way, Bush hmm? Baby. Oh. <laughs> 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 I've never seen anything like it on all my travels. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Well, it's just a very big mm. hole, guinea fowl. Ooh, a very big new hole with lots of lovely fresh mud. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't here yesterday, and big holes don't just appear. Where did it come from, Your Majesty? Who made it, and why? Too many questions, too many questions. Guinea fowl is right. Big holes like this <gasps> don't just appear overnight. This is the work of... Majitu. Majitu? Majitu? Oh, tortoise. Majitu is just an old tale about a big giant who mm. used to roam about Tinga Tinga. It doesn't exist. Um, I hate to interrupt your majesty, but from up here, that mm. hole does look very much like the footprint of a very large beast. What? The footprint of a giant beast. A giant beast? Look, there's a giant in Tinga Tinga. A giant? A giant? And not just any giant. Majitu, the great giant of Tinga Tinga. Go on, Tortoise, go on. This is fascinating. Majitu is so big, he makes elephant look like the size of a flea. Ooh. So tall, he makes giraffe look the size of a tiny ant. So scary, he makes... Thank you, Tortoise, but no beast has ever seen this giant Majitu. As I said, it's just an old Tinga Tinga tale. If no beast has ever seen him, then he can't exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well said, Bush Baby. Now, let's just get on with our day, shall we? Big news! Big news! Trees have fallen in the forest and no bird knows why. Aha! Majitu the giant. A giant. A giant. <laughs> Stop saying that. Stop saying giant. Elephant, we won't see Majitu. Giants don't exist. Precisely. Let's just go and see, shall we? Come on, Bush Baby. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> it must have been a giant. It must have been a giant. Did any bird see a giant? No, we didn't see a giant. We didn't see a giant. Well, if you can't see him, he doesn't exist. Quite right, Bush Baby. Giants don't exist. Mm -hmm. But who could do such a thing to search big trees? Majitu! It is said that Majitu the giant is so big, he can walk around the world in a single day. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Knocking down trees and squashing... Stop this nonsense, Tortoise. Huh? <gasps> what in Tinga Tinga was that? Mm -hmm -hmm. Come on, let's go and see. Bush Baby, what if Majitu is real? Look, no one's ever seen this Majitu, so he can't be real. Oh, no! The water hole is empty. Who could have drunk so much water? Majitu? A giant so big that he could swallow an ocean in a single gulp. Kim Yeni! Calm down! This one. Now, listen, everyone. This is getting silly. Giants do not exist. If you can't see him, he's not real. Well, I've never seen anything like this. If Majitu exists, we have to see him. Agreed? Mm. Yes, Your Majesty. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, we'll start at the top of the mountain. Oh, we're sure to spot Majitu from up here, all right. Let's look, shall we? You see? A few wildebeest. Mm. 
Uh -huh. River. All is at peace in Tinga Tinga. No giants anywhere to be seen. Perhaps Majitu doesn't exist after all. Told you. If you can't see him, he's not real. He could be hiding. And where could a giant as big as Majitu hide? <gasps> In the Great Cave. Well, let's go and see, shall we? Yes, let's go and see. Do we have to? Mm. Oh. oh, we're never going to see a giant, are we? That's because they don't, don't exist. exist. We know. I must admit, even I'm beginning to have my doubts. Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 Calm down, calm down. It's just bats. Phew, that was a bit scary. You're telling me. What are you doing here? Waiting for Majitu the giant. Majitu the giant? We think he might be hiding in your cave. In my cave? There is no giant in my cave. That's because if you can't see him, he doesn't exist. Well, thank goodness for that. Well, animals? We have searched the whole of Tinga Tinga, and there is no sign of a giant. Tortoise? Majitu the giant does not exist. I told you. Thank you, Tortoise. Now, I suggest we all get a good night's sleep. Mm. Mm. Giants? <laughs> Majitu. Well, I might have got a little carried away. <laughs> Giants. <laughs> well, I'm glad Majitu doesn't exist. Me too. Me three. Me four. <laughs> now, which way is it back to my nest? Bush, baby. Do you want us to take you home? No, thank you. Well, be careful of Majitu then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you Giants don't exist. <laughs> Hmm. Now, I'm sure it was this way. Hmm. Or was it that way? <gasps> huh? mm. What was that? Looked like some very big feet. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's my tiny eyes playing tricks. Now, I'm sure it's this way. Yes, this way. Hmm. Is that Majitu the Giant? No, 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 no. You're just seeing things. Giants don't exist. <sighs> Giants don't exist. Giants don't exist. Giants don't exist. Giants don't exist. Ah! That's Majitu! <gasps> I thought you said no. giants didn't exist. <gasps> they don't. Giants don't exist at all. Huh? <sighs> Majitu! I see him! I see Majitu! Majitu the giant does exist. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Majitu. Bye-bye, <laughs> Majitu. <laughs> everybody, everybody, I've seen Majitu the giant. <laughs> I saw Majitu. Ooh. I saw him with my very own eyes. Don't be silly, Bush Baby. <laughs> Your eyes do look big enough to have seen a giant. Yes, they do. That's because I saw Majitu. He was very, very big and very nice too. And that is why Bush Baby has big eyes. <laughs> From the day she saw Majitu the giant, her eyes became as big as planets. He had these big, big feet. <laughs> That's enough, Bush Baby. If you don't believe me, ask Bat. Bat saw him too. Did, Did you, you see, see the giant? giant? Yes. He was the size of a mountain. Mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. See? I told you. Too scared. <laughs> too scared. <laughs> and Bat in his cave? Well, that's a whole other story. Chaza, <laughs> chaza. <laughs> Come on, dance. Imba, imba. Come on, sing. Shuka, 
Masuka, shake it down. Ruka, ruka, jump around. Woo! 